Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes! Bog, 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 bog. Sorry, we're still in the toilet. Okay, spot. yeah, all right, so. <sighs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, what, what are we doing today? I think I already have an inkling on what we're doing today, but what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to head uh, into the underground of the temple, I suppose, and start making our first real uh, steps into Dark Torvus. I mean, we were there once to to flip a switch, but now we got to do a lot more. And to do that, we got to figure out where we're going to go. Go into the flooded basement of a bog. <sighs> so scan down this temple door here. Oh, I thought it got stuck. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, <laughs> fortunately, everything works quite well here in this well, ruined planet. We need planet. some extra force in order for this gate to go down. Oh, map room? It's the map room! Oh my god, we haven't had one of those in, a, in an age. Because well, we haven't needed a map, but now we do. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the whole map for the area, too. So The entirety of Torvus. So we got this uh, open up area. It's uh, a lot more dense, but a lot of doors you can go through. Get this area up here, and what's this down here? That's mm. the basement of the temple that we gotta go through. That's gonna be fun when we get there. Okay, here we go. But we're not gonna go there for a while yet. What? We gotta be. We gotta get prepared for that. Oh, okay. Whee! To do that, we're gonna go back to the temple and go into that underground area and all that. Just say hello to all the temple folk. Of course. Hello, temple folk. I am here to uh, to wreck the place. I don't know how you wreck a temple, but well, that's all right. it, see, it's this temple that we're gonna save. It's the other temple we're gonna wreck. Ah. We wreck the dark temple, we save the light temples. That's how That's how we do. Then we get a piece of the Triforce, and then we can move on. That was a long loading screen. It's got a lot to load here. <laughs> <laughs> got Shriekers here. I'm going to try and get some more missiles here, because, again, there's still a little bit of a deficiency when it comes to, to certain ammo. But there's also a lot of ways to get it back. It feels like getting missiles is the most, you know, inaccurate, rare way of getting them. And that's so funny, because no other Metroid game has had tr a missile problem. Just this one. I think that's one of the things I could have used a bit more balancing. Just just a little bit more polish with the, the ammo problems. Maybe just a slight change in the algorithm for picking up specific ammo? But it's okay, it's part of the difficulty. I mean, they, they, they've had to cut a lot of stuff that was already too hard. <laughs> it's a feature. So, don't know where to go? Go through the, the translate door first. Uh, have you ever had a gamer in your life spin a really bad programming decision as a feature of a game? Like what? <laughs> like, for example, the fact that you can't control your party members in Persona 3 FES. Somebody mm. said, that's a feature. A feature, hey? <laughs> to make it more agonizingly terrible. No, I think it's a feature. I think it's more of, well, that's what they did in the other Shin Megami Tensei games. It's what they do here now. And then when they did it in Persona 4, it's like, oh, wait, that's what people want? Oh... We asked 5,000 gamers whether they let their party members control themselves or have them be controlled by the player in Persona 4. And everybody over overwhelmingly said that they wanted to control their own party members. There's a Mitchell expansion down here. Is that all we came down here for? No. Oh, okay. This is the way forward, but that's just there while we're here. Now I want to take care of that Grinch, so before we did that, we've got to go through here. There's another goddamn Splorb in the area. <laughs> okay, you're just making up words. I know you're not making up words, but they sound like made up it's words. It's context, okay? <laughs> I need the Splorb and the Goodgad and got the... got some more lore! Our oh, war the, begins! The, the war lore, the war here we starting. go. We developed crystals that brought the light of Aether to the Dark World using these crystals allowed our warriors to, well, not die, and explore the enemy lands to bring war to the Aang. Sadly, the crystals were not enough. We needed stronger weapons, better armor, better everything. We withdrew from Dark Aether while our greatest minds devised new engines of war. It's always war. War this, war that. Well, they're kind of in a war and, you know, they, they, they gotta do something. That is true. And apparently they didn't do enough. Yeah, I do feel kind of bad that a bunch of nerds got invaded by Darklings. That just seems overpowered. Let's open phase on container and through this to... Oh. And, oh. yep, there they are. There they are. Hello! These are the ordinary pirate commandos. There's two of them. They're a little pissed at us. And, well, there's a couple ways we can take them out. Oh. <laughs> Yes, that is a container of open phase on, by phase the way. Phase on, look! Pirate Commando. Shock Troopers. Very powerful, very well armored. Dangerous at any range. But they didn't count on one thing. Darkness. Dark Beam and... 
Oh, they're both dead. <laughs> so when I did practice, I'd kill one of them, you know, the, the old-fashioned way. Mm -hmm. And uh, this open container of Phazon was a one-hit kill for him. So they gave you multiple ways to kill them almost immediately. Basically, I think they were, what they mean to say is the space pirates are not the problem here. They, They're not the biggest threat. I don't think they've ever been the biggest threat. There has always been a bigger threat. Even when the space pirates were there in Metroid Prime 1, the bigger threat was their boss, <laughs> not the smaller pirates. This is our this is our way into a darky, dark Torvis bog. Mm, poison water. Can't wait. Delicious. Mm. Grape soda. Mmm. Why is it always poison water? Because the Mario series does this too. Might be a color thing. You look at water, it's uh, sickly purple instead of ordinary blue. It's you think? Just, just big ick. It, look, it looks ick. A huntering. I mean, brown water. Well, I don't think I want to go in there. It just seems dirty. Yeah, just that's just filth. Gray water. Well, that's. I don't want to stay in there for long. Green water. Well, that might be mossy. You know? It might be mossy. What that might be. But purple water. Uh uh that's bad. It's That's in, bad juju. ingrained uh -huh. in gamer minds as ick water. Because purple means, you know, death of some sort. Boop, 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 boop. So what does that mean that purple is my favorite color? You invite death. <laughs> <laughs> I invite death, no! It means, uh, it means other things, of course. That's these hun these huntering are really annoying because... Uh, yeah. They, they, they phase out, they phase in and out of existence. It's hard to track them with the visor and they have these tentacles that, that, that nab at you. But, you know, they're just annoying. Light beam takes care of them, but... Don't use a charge light beam because they could phase out and you could miss. That's so mean. I know. Ah, oh, jeez. And now we're coming up to it. Oh. Oh yeah, this. We've got a save station here, and now we are about to tackle the hardest boss in Metroid Prime history. And this is only like what the third boss we've uh -huh. ever faced. Yep. Awesome. And the third, reason, and the third reason boss, being is because boss. it's it's a very difficult fight. Like even yes, some of the yes, devs yes, can't get yes, through it. Yes. it. It was nerfed in subsequent releases. And even, like, ten months ago, when I was playing Metroid Prime 2 just for fun, I had to put in the extra replay and cheat in order to beat the Boost Guardian. Let's do it legitimate. And, and now here we are. Here we are, legitimate, and, baby. Oh, this is this is interesting. This Show is me, a, you souls boy. It's in a state of dimensional flux, but it's not in... It's actually in Light Ether, so I'm gonna come see. back here from that end. Okay. Ow. So, uh, the reason why this boss is so hard is because you are constantly in the atmosphere of Dark Aether, of course. Mm -hmm. You're constantly taking damage, and the only way to really damage it is to get it out of a certain phase, which you can only do with Morph Bombs. Oh! So, you have to be quick on that, otherwise you're gonna be having some hard times. This is very difficult, it's... it's... just... We're gonna, we're, we're gonna have a time. Bring it! I, I can't wait to see this! You have been talking about this since we started discussing Metroid Prime 2, and now I get to see it. And there he is. Yep. Part of the problem is that they've really changed the mechanics of the boost ball. They've made it faster and more powerful. Ooh. And I think that carried over to the boss accidentally. Oops. There's our there's our first key over there. We can't get that yet. I didn't. Yeah, I, I don't think they meant to add the speed boost. To the boss itself. Like, it's, it's supposed to be the boost guarding, but I, I think just, you know, his... He just does too much damage, in addition to Dark Aether. You do have health pickups, but... If you're having a hard time, if you don't have all five of the of the E-Tanks, you could be in a really tough time right now. So let's see how you do. You see, these four these four pillars over here, when they when he breaks them, they get out a hundred health. And that's basically your, your, your biggest boon for you there. Okay. All right. Boost ball ability, grand speed. Gotta find a way to keep him solved with more boss. So, okay, so here's how you spank him. Charge light beam! And... He'll turn liquid. Okay. Wait till he comes back. Shoot him in the face and then keep firing the light beam! Oh, please tell me this isn't it. Please. Sometimes, and when he turns around like that, that means he turns into this morph ball and he'll zoom, okay, he'll zoom okay, around. Okay, okay, so there is more to this. It's best to do space jump, because you're in the air more and he'll hit, he'll hit you less. During the third boost, or when he hits that, he will turn into liquid. You gotta drop morph ball bombs and hit him a bunch of times. Ooh, that's kind of neat. Okay, okay. He's also dropping uh, little little yeah. dark inglings yeah, there, little, little versions. Yeah, th th those guys. And he actually he can kill them. Wow. He can kill them, and you can kill them for more pickups. Morph bomb is the only way to damage him. I've heard yeah. ways that you can drop a morph bomb in front of him to stop him prematurely, but that's really impossible to do. 
Really, you're better off just jumping around while he zips around. On the third one, switch to Morph Ball. He'll turn liquid, and then you can drop more Morph Bombs, and when you do enough, he'll turn solid again. Oh, okay. Then you bring out your Light Beam and do it again. Make sure you charge it, shoot him, and then shoot a whole bunch, because by the time you charge Oof. a second Light Beam, it'll be too late. But sometimes you can be lucky, and he'll stay alive oh. for another cycle, so you can hit him again with another charged Light Beam, and then more Light no Beams after that. Way. Boom, no way. Boom, boom, boom. Not oh, quite. Not quite. So close. He's not going to get me out of a two cycle. It's got to be a three oh. cycle. That's okay. That's okay. Seriously, that's the thing everybody had trouble with? Like, like really? That's what everybody had trouble with. So this is where I think the game is really telling you, you really got to use your beams. Because the big X factor is, of course, I didn't. I only had three E-Tanks when I took this fight, not five. Uh, five is a max you can get at this point, legitimately, well, legitimately at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think the difficulty comes in trying to turn him solid again. Like, actually hurting him enough in ball form, I think? Not only that, but when he, when he gets hit by a bomb, he, like, winces and goes away and turns back into a ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're, you're, I, the, the, the time to damage him is very limited and very, very tight. I see. So they really want you to use a charged light shot to deal the most damage. And dead. Spanked. I can't believe Four it. Four E-Tanks. I didn't even blow up I all can't of the pillars. I can't believe it. I knew when you told me, oh, hey, we're doing uh, the Boost Guardian today, and you didn't go, oh, we're doing the Boost Guardian today. <laughs> I knew there was a catch. Damn, great fight. I see your celebratory blasts in the floor. <laughs> it feels good to not only beat him, but spank him. Yeah, that was that was a pretty nasty fight. Didn't, like, didn't the good nasty. That. But the results are worth it. Give me that Boost Ball. The Boost Ball. You've noticed a whole bunch of half pipes on our way through Dark Ether and Ether, haven't you? Time to pull off some sick tricks! Time to pull off some sick tricks. And the first one is, of course, right outside this room. To get the first key. To get the very first key. Excellent. Exactly. Excellent. So, so uh, boosting and half pipes in general have been improved since Metroid Prime 1. Ooh, really? Like I said, it feels like they give you more power. So it doesn't take long to get up slopes like that. <gasps> oh, that's so good. Works so much oh, better. Oh, that's so much better. It's still a bit of a, you know, lining up problem, but, you know, it's it's nothing too bad. But, Just, hey, yeah, it's yeah. no longer a momentum problem. Like, you don't lose your momentum halfway. So that way, if they do challenge you on momentum, it feels oh. like that it's a challenge, not just <laughs> what you have to do. Oh, that's so much better. But that's so nice. That is, that, that's just lovely. That's just lovely. Man, I thought this whole episode was going to be just the Boost Guardian, but now... N now stuff to do. There's so much stuff to do. Let's go do some stuff. Let's get going. I like doing some stuff. We got we got so many things to do. So <laughs> many things have popped up. So many more things to do. We got to open up a lot more of dark Tor of dark Torvis. Oh my god, it's incredible. Check it. Hold B. Oh. Boom, like yep, that. Right across. I knew they were gonna do that. That's such a great way to learn how the boost ball is done without actually having just a wall of text telling you what you could do with boost ball. Oh, that's. You must have been riding high that day. I have a feeling your notes said, Episode 8, Boost Guardian, and that's all. Nope. We got more. Well, I did, uh, I did put Boost Guardian in, like, a box underlined, and I put Boo in a little middle finger there, but, uh, <laughs> that was before I found out how to spank him. Because when I did practice, I died the first time. Oh no. And then I figured, well, I gotta be more aggressive, so I pull out the, the light beam for the second round. Full charge shot right in the face. And I spanked him in practice, too. And then I come here to do it for real. And it couldn't have gone better. I'm so happy. So maybe there was too much reliant for gamers to use just like the regular beam? Like they didn't consider using light and dark because it's a limited ammo? I think the problem is I didn't have all three uh, E-Tanks, so I would have to rely on them breaking the pillars to get that 100 uh, health restore. Um, I, I guess. I, I, got, I have two beam expansions, so... Wait, no. I only have one beam, exp one beam expansion in two blocks. That gives me a, you know, a, a, a good chance. I haven't been using a lot of charged light beam shots because I've been stingy about ammo. So if ever there were a time to not be stingy on your light beam ammo, yeah. it would be for the boost guardian section. And here's our first half pipe. Yeah, well, that, second, I guess. That's just so strange because that didn't seem that bad. Of I course, know. you made it seem like it was absolutely awful. And then you showed me, oh, it's not. It's just like one plus one equals light beam to the face. It, it really is effective. I think even with those charged light beam shots, that helps a lot. Well, and, you uh, did like a quarter of his health with one charged light beam. So I also think uh, he 
boosts balls three times and then turns liquid. I think that might be helpful too. Now I will say, if you if it's your first time playing and you don't know the pattern, yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get slapped. And then the next time you're just like, okay, I understand the pattern. Let's do this again. Oh, that punk has been giving me gripe for <laughs> twenty years. It's good to <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. God, I would have loved it if you're like, here, you do it. There's only been one time where UDJ has told me, hey, you do it, and I actually did it. <laughs> Lost Odyssey, baby. This is Crocus. Oh, I, I hate it. Oh, <laughs> God! Oh! I'm having a good time here playing Prime 2. You gotta bring up Lost Odyssey? I hate that game! I know you do. I hate that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Man. Anyway, kill the Crocus. Why is it yeah, called a Crocus? It's called a Crocus because it's... Gonna um, die here soon? It, it's a Brocus. I, I don't the, know. Oh, wow. Why does the Dark Beam freeze them in place? I don't understand that. Uh, I, don't, I don't have to understand that. It's just interesting. Well, I wouldn't know. I mean... Oh, hello, Spinner. So here's a Spinner. This is uh, the one that's in Dimensional Flux in Dark Aether. Yeah. So we just go into Boost Ball and then... Uh, no. uh, 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 okay, okay. Pardon All right. me. All right, fine. Yeah, I need to go this way anyway. We'll do this first. Jeez. They really didn't want you to do that. They want me to get this thing first, and that's fine. We'll do that. Coming to here. This is a bit of a dead end. Ooh. There's a little, uh... A little maze A little here. mini puzzle yeah. here. Just kind of come down here and do the bomb slots. Hmm. That's about it. Me. Yeah. Okay, okay. I see what they're doing. I like what they're doing. Just a little bit of ingenuity here. Changing puzzle. There we go. I'm a fan. And then, what? And then, what You've got to be what, kidding. And then, uh, You've uh, got to be kidding. See? A little bit more polish, and I think this would have been a classic. <laughs> but that's okay. Still, it's Still doing fine. good. Still doing good. Hey. Still having a good time. I, I'm having a good time. We're here. We're playing Metroid Prime 2. We're having a good time. Still on good pace, too. Everything's, everything's just fine. No issues. I wonder who thought to, like, fully mechanize the inside of a tree. This looks like it's been burrowed in by the Aang or something. Either that or just giant bog ants. Come in here. Oh, oh look! Another half pipe. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude! See, look, how, look how fast that is! Whoa! I only had to do it like three times and we're already going around the whole thing. I That's know. so much better than Prime 1! And I, I can't visualize past UDJ going, Shit! Shit! Can't get it! Or having, you know, having to rely on frogs that just sit there and wait for food to jump into their mouth. Oh, yeah. Just to get to the top of an area. Nothing like that. <laughs> so much easier. Pure skills right up here. Open up! Dude, you, you know how Samus can now do sick tricks with the uh, boost ball? Uh, yeah. Can you imagine if she went to the <clears throat> X Games? <laughs> I think she's banned because she's too good. Yeah, all the Morphlings X are just like, wait, who's joining it? No, 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 no. Get her out of here. All right. Get her out of here. So this door is open. That's a shortcut. If I've ever seen one. a little bit. That's good. That's oh, that good. was a cool effect. Lovely effect there, Oh, yes. that was cool. Always good. That was so pretty. So I'm assuming, back into Dark World, change the polarity of this platform, but now that we have an open spot there... We can make it back and open this place up, maybe? See, Miss Skull, you've got a great mind. Oh, that's thank a, you. That's a, that's a good idea that you've got. There. Let's go do that. Let's go do that. But we got to do some things first. Well, that's fine. It's on the way. So uh, we're going to go stop by the Dark Temple now real quick. We turning in a key? Well, not turning in a key, but there's a couple things we can get there. Oh, okay. A couple of very important things, especially if you just had that Boost Guardian fight and didn't have as smooth a time as I did. See, I'm just thinking... That would completely ruin the flow if you had to turn in the keys one at a time. Ugh. Uh, here we go. Oh, yeah, we couldn't open one. this first. Though. There we go. Yeah. Open up, give me all the treasure. So this is the room that had the, the sporb in it. This is an equally not as fun room, but... Well, not... Lift vine crystal. Still not a very fun room, but... Huh. This, this one's okay. This this is a lift vine crystal that sits in poisonous water. You shoot it with a light beam, and it uh, floats its way up. Oh. But there's also these poisonous things here that kind of make it a little bit perilous. If you're not careful, you could lose a lot of health here. 
Still a pretty decent difficulty curve, not gonna lie. Not too bad, though, not too bad. We just gotta do everything by the book. We gotta get all the upgrades. They always help. There is another dark dark, uh, inner dark temple key for us. We can't get that yet because it's too high up. A white door here, but... And uh, Warrior Ing that's uh, nipping at my heels behind me. <laughs> Please, I'm trying to get the, the keys. But now we are underneath the Dark Temple. Hmm. Let me guess. There's a key underneath it. I mean, we've already seen it, but... Oh. I don't know what that thing is. That's big. But I don't like it, and I, w and I am eager to kill it when we get the other two keys. Put the keys in there, go up there, kill it? Essentially, yes. Okay, well, let's go get the other keys. I want to see you kill that thing. So, come through here, another super missile door. Whack you! Energy tank. That's lovely. That's very lovely. I consider this your true award for beating Boost Guardian. <laughs> oh, yeah. So why did, why'd we come here first? Why didn't we, why didn't we, uh, give me, well, I don't think we could have come here without the boost ball. Mm -mm. And I wanted to be here for another reason. Lore, this other door over here. I never would have found that. Because I still can't get my head around the map, but seeing this... Yeah, I'm glad you're doing this walkthrough, not me. Hey, that's beautiful! Recharge room! Give me all the stuff. Not a moment too soon. Give me all the stuff, yeah. Excellent. Wow. Doing so much. There's still so much left to do. So much crammed in, in today's in, in this episode. And thought, all because you beat the boost guardian so fast. I didn't think it would be so easy. Easy? Of all things? Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, we're done here. Metroid Prime 2 devs happened to come across your video and it's just like, all right. Is that what Mickey was talking about? I thought it was crazy, but it's, it's, it's real. It can be done. Now we gotta head back. How far back? There is a oh. place in the light world that we need to get something, but to get there we need to go to the dark world, and then we need to go back through the dark world to get back in the light world. It's 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 crazy. It's a nice little fuster cluck we got. Nice little save station here if you need it, if you're hurting for energy healing, which you might be. <sighs> Ready to go. I also came here because we gotta go through that blue door across there. I just noticed every other Metroid game has her... Okay, so you know her helmet? All right, here first. Oh, yeah. This black door here. This might seem familiar. Uh... I'll take your word for it. Okay, now it looks familiar. Ah-ha-ha! Uh -huh, yeah! Go. We'll be back here later to go through that door, but for now we need to go up here. Ooh. This is how you get in through here. The lovely surprises. Little uh, elevator there. Hello, light world. Yeah. Take me away to the light world city, where the ing are gross and the mothmen are pretty. All for a missile tank. All for a missile expansion. That's all it was for. Oh my god. But one way, one way road. But we're going with the with the super missiles now. So maybe it's a good idea to have some missile expansions every now and again. There is no way there's no way back from that area, so you have to go all the way back through the dark world and all that, so. We're gonna head back to the Dark Forgotten Bridge, as it's called. And make our way back to Dark to Light Torvis that way. Such a long name. So, Niskeldamus. Uh-huh. Any ideas of what to do now? Uh, get temple keys, win game. Right, that sounds that sounds like a great idea. Okay, cool. Let's let's uh let's uh fixate a little bit. Let's uh, let's focus in on a certain point. What do you think we gotta do now? Uh, since we have boost ball, there's a few half pipes that we could go to, but here uh -huh. in the dark world, right? I have a funny feeling we still have one more item to get. Well, um, there's there's a couple here and there that we can get, but it's easier to get on certain areas. Just for Flo's sake. But we're about done here. Mm. We got everything that we need to get for right now. Ooh, those things are nasty. Yeah, those things are pretty nasty. I just... yeah. I just avoid them. It's not worth the effort. 
But sometimes they just get in your way that you have to deal with them, but we're good there. All right, so heading all the way back. Uh, I haven't seen anything that marks the need for a new weapon. I still think it'd be funny if we had light missiles and dark missiles just to add to all the insanity. Do you know I mean? We got the charge beam for those uh, light beam and dark beam. What would I, missiles add? I know. We do a whole lot. It'd be a thing. All right. Like, go full ham on light world, dark world. Might as well. All right. And this will take us back to light world. This is why Samus is wearing one white sock and one dark sock. Able to swap between the light and dark. Perfectly balanced. That's all things should be. Have we been through this yet? Oh, yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. There's so, a couple of uh, Grinch Grinchlers down there. The Grinchlers. <laughs> Ugh. Oop, thought that was a ledge. I noticed we didn't change where that bridge is. Do we still have to do that? No, that, that bridge is going to stay there because uh, all that bridge did was take you to the portal, which we can get there by other means. But that, but that door that it was connecting to, not so much. What the hell happened? I, I shot it with the charged dark beam, and it was covered in this sort of purple sludge. Uh, so maybe that's what it does. We're basically firing the essence of muck. Yeah. Like the Pokemon. Muck! Muck! Anyway, we're leaving. What, already? Yeah. Like the entirety of Torvus? We don't need to be in Torvus anymore. Oh, bull. Don't give me that. We don't need to be here. No, yes we do. No, we don't. We didn't get the keys. We didn't get the keys, did we? We got one of the keys. But, there's another half pipe. You're probably thinking, okay, let's go to that half pipe. Or, you're thinking, let's go to the uh, basement of the temple that's, that's, that's opened up. Mm -hmm. We can do that. Then you're going to realize it's all a dead end. And then you're going to get a hint system saying that there's a Luminoth weapon somewhere. And it's in the temple grounds. After Boost Guardian is yeah. when this happens? After the Boost Guardian, if you may, if you meander around for a while, it's going to point you to the temple grounds. Why all of a sudden do they add multiple dead ends? Hmm. And then eventually go, Hey, I know we didn't tell you about this, but here's a thing. Maybe the explore That's part of the exploration, of course. I, I, I don't know about that, man. Is it on your map? It, it will be. They point it out to you on your map. But it's the hint system, and we're too good for this hint system to be mm. uh, activated right now. But well, this is all part of the critical path. Trust me, okay. everything is going to be okay. And it has to do with this half pipe right here. Well, since we have the Luminoth to thank for this lovely item, I'm going to say it's a take on the gravity suit. All right. Gravity suit, you say? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Even got a little, uh... A little bit of lore. Got some lore up there. Perfect. Oh, it's from Luminoth Tony Hawk. Did you know nobody can recognize him as the actual Luminoth Tony Hawk? <laughs> I love the story of Tony Hawk. <laughs> the modest hero that, you know, he's just... Anyway, in time, the roar of a wounded planet subsided. The air, though fouled, was breathable. Light made its way through the dark veil over our world. Slowly, we ventured out from the shelters of our homes to see what remained of our paradise. What little comfort we gained by surviving was soon shattered, for when we looked outward, all we saw was devastation. Half of the planet's energy had vanished from the energy's controllers. Aether, Aether became violently unstable as a result. Of the stellar object which struck our home, there was no sign. Stellar object, huh? Hmm. Been a lot of phase on here. Hmm. You want to think maybe that, uh... Some Phazon struck Aether, and it became a dimensional war war hell hole. Oh, something to consider. Don't so, shut that. Oh. So that's unfortunate because oh. when that happens, you have to do the half pipe you gotta, again. You have to well get locked out by a super missile door. Time to do a sick 900, bro. And you got to kill the war wasp hives again. Make Samus do a Christ air. Okay, all right. Okay. Let's there, do it again. And Let's do no, it again. Come on, dare you. Get out of here, you <laughs> annoying bastards. Uh, and that came out of nowhere, too. I, I must right. fully admit. For real! Huh? Go! A lot less time. And... Because right. when you get on a half pipe, you're trying to get somewhere up on that other ledge. Well, you wouldn't want to spend a whole lot of time there. Charge yeah. it ahead of time, and there you go. 
Ta-da! Perfect. And this takes us to somewhere magical. Disneyland! Who would have thought it was on ether? This is the path of honor. The path of the sword. The path to great weaponry. The path to an almost dead end. I... Ooh. What's that now? I, I, I don't know. There's four spinners here. Yellow, aqua, red, and purple. I'll give you the answer right now. Red. red. You do it once. You go until it clicks. Click. Oh, okay. Next, go over to yellow. Ooh, is this... Click that three times. This is almost starting to look like a Chozo artifact. One. Two. Three. All right. Oh. Next, over to Aqua or Cyan, what have you. Do that once. Click. Oh. And then finish off by going over to purple here. This is cool. Do you and, find out the combination from that corpse? And go twice. No, you just kind of trial and error. The idea is to go from the inside out when you when you do this. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? We're gonna get something good. We're gonna get something nice and sexy. No, I shattered glass! Show me the gravity suit! <laughs> oh, no, it's a beam! What? This, my friends... What are you? ...is the Seeker Launcher! Really? The Seeker Launcher. This is basically a charge beam for your missiles. <laughs> you can lock on to enemies with this five, up, to, up to five at a time and let them fly. As you can see, it works... Sometimes. Terribly. Yay! The Seeker Missile Launcher stinks on ice. So Don't ever use it. Metroid Dread did it better. This is only for one purpose and one purpose only. To move on with the story. To open purple doors. <laughs> Wait, what? The purple doors, there are these five little <laughs> oh, things around God. here. And if you kind of aim your reticle around somewhere in the center of all of them, they'll take them all out and there you go. You get five missiles from getting the Seeker Launcher. So we are now at a hundred missiles, a hundred light beam, and a hundred dark beam. Hell yeah! We're sitting pretty, I think. I love your declaration. It sucks! It's terrible. Don't ever use it. It's wasteful, too, because it still takes five. Oh. I see what they were going for. I really do. This is MD. MD? What's, what's he got to say? That last hit breached my armor, the poison spreads, though I have found the key, it is too late for me. Soon my light will fail. They know I am here, they will come to this site to plunder the key, my last stand shall be at the edge of the temple grounds. Uh, hmm. I only hope I have the strength to fight when they arrive. Unfortunately, you did not. Well, I think that's about all we can do for today. Oh, we got 60% of all logbook scans, Jeez. not bad. Cool. Or where are we gonna find a save point around here? Anybody got any ideas? Uh, uh, That'll do. Oh my god, you looped completely around. Excellent. That's Excellent. so cool! So, next on Metroid Prime 2, we've gotta do something that I'm afraid that we have to do. That's, I know it's boring, I know it's, it's, it's dreary. We gotta do some backtracking. Backtracking. To get item some extra items and all that. Yeah. But, we're gonna find out why backtracking has gotten so much better in Prime 2 compared to Prime 1. We're gonna get so much power, so much upgrades, it's it's gonna be... Oh, I, I'm, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. It's gonna be great. See you next time!